YouTube. I hope y'all are having a blessed day. It was a beautiful day here on the mountain today. The sun was bright. There was a beautiful breeze. The chickens were happy. The little chick is getting bigger. And the cats were all happy. And thank you, Jesus. Just such a beautiful day. We are here with our next little project. And this time, it's going to be another stuffed potato chip block. And this time we are doing an Ohio star. And let me tell you, don't, I, I don't know how, but 15, 20 years ago, I aced six semesters of college level calculus. Hundreds on everything, straight A's, unbelievable, honors list, you name it. I sat here and had a massive panic attack trying to figure out these stupid triangles because math. Now I know the trick about cutting, you know, uh, adding on seven eighths of an inch and then cutting a square and cutting it on the diagonal. But for whatever reason, my brain just would not wrap itself around the seven eighths bit. And because I'm doing four inch squares and eight inch squares, I have to take whatever the measurement is. I can't I can't say, oh, I'll upsize it to nine inches and everything will be fine. No, I couldn't do that. So the eight inch block, one of the triangles was like three and a 16th. And my brain just had an absolute meltdown. So I had to call a friend to rescue me because I was just losing it. I cut fabric that I really can't spare and I wasted it. So it's been one of those days. Yes, I may, I may have a lot of good ideas, but I have, much, I have much better ideas for things like this than I do for traditional quilt blocks. And that's why I don't tend to do traditional quilt blocks. I like to take something and manipulate it to call it my own. So that's a little, uh, that's a little behind the scenes of what makes my brain tick and what makes my brain melt down. Uh, these, these custom, custom freehand embroidery pieces, these textile pieces of art that I do, I don't have a problem with that. I could, I can do them all day long. They seem out of reach for some folks. And I don't know, you know, I, I don't know. I have problems with math. I have problems with triangles and fixing, you know, making traditional blocks work and they have to turn out to be this size. And if they're not, you know, you're doomed. And I like, I like freehand. I like free things. I like to be able to just do whatever my heart wants and it all works out. But when it's with traditional blocks, I struggle with math, stupid little things. And I struggle. So welcome to my world. So I have calmed down. I stopped having the heart attack. I spoke with my friend. She talked me off the cliff. I spoke to Sanjay and he's a mechanical engineer and his father was one of India's most celebrated mathematicians. So it's in his blood. I mean, he, he can, when he, he will, ask, he will try and do a calculation. He'll say, what is X times Y squared divided by and by the time he finishes saying that he already has the answer i'm still looking for the calculator <sighs> welcome to my world it's so wonderful that you are here and i'm very very happy that we are here today with another stuffed potato chip block and we're doing an ohio star and i am giving you templates and the templates will have sizes on them and I also will include in the written instructions that you're going to oversize said triangles, sew them together into the unit, and then you're going to trim them down. And of course, I will show you all of that, so don't worry about it. But to try and save time this time, I have done all of the stuff that we already should know how to do because we've been doing this project five times. I have pre-sewn my potato chips pieces and I have taken the liberty of doing the four inch Ohio star. 
and I believe this is called an Ohio star. I just, I just drew it in uh, electric quilt. I didn't, I, I don't know what it is. It didn't pop up and say, oh, that's an Ohio star. Um, so I, I think it's an Ohio star, but that's the four inch one. And, uh, and I have the pieces ready to, to go with that. And I'm very talkative because I was very, very nervous. So you'll have to bear with me. So again, you'll have the templates with all the verbiage on it. And uh, I, I don't have it printed out yet because I've been trying to do it as I go. I have, I have all the pieces together and I will put together this Ohio star with you and show you how to trim it down and all that fine stuff. And I do want to tell you that I have bit the bullet and I have laid out some more money of my, of, of my own to get lavalier mics so that I can take you over to the cutting table and move around and take you to the design wall and things like that. So that should be coming sometime this week. So there's that. And then I'll, then hopefully I will no longer have to keep boosting the audio in my editing program because I keep moving the microphone let me turn the camera around and we will get started so this you know this is the standard little write-up that i've been giving you and you know i will have all of the instructions added to this when you go to coffee to download it and again i'm any patterns that i'm giving you on youtube are on my website shop on my coffee website but they are free so you just put them in your cart and they're yours. You don't have to pay. But you could look around while you're there because I have other things. I know what I mean, know what I mean, notch, notch, know what I mean, say no more. This is the eight inch and that's the one that we're gonna be working with because I've already put my four inch one together. So you're going to cut a four and a half inch square and you're going and you're going to cut that one and that's going to be in black so let me add that i'm sorry i just hit the camera and then you're also going to cut four two and a half inch squares in white and then you're going to need eight black triangles and to get those black triangles you're going to cut four three inch squares and that's in black yeah i already have that black written down there so you're going to cut four three inch squares and then you're going to cut on the diagonal and that will give you oversized blocks for this for this one and here we have start having a meltdown again um because that says three uh um 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 let's not have a heart attack again please please don't have a heart attack again oh heavens to bits oh i said yes you can cut at 375 okay all right panic adverted all right, so you're going to cut two squares that are three and seven, three and three quarter inches. You're going to cut two of them. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Now I'm having a panic attack again. Just give me one second. Okay, I had to have a meltdown and come back. These, these figures are correct. You're going to cut four three inch squares and you're going to cut them on the diagonal to get eight black triangles. You're going to cut two three and three quarter inch squares and cut them down the diagonal to get your four white triangles. Goodness gracious, you have no idea how I panic over numbers. You could give me a test that says how much is one plus one and I will have a panic attack. Okay, so we're gonna keep this here just so we can see it. We are going to start, these are our black triangles and they go with these. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our subunits first. And those subunits look like, so these are our subunits. If you use the templates and cut out individual triangles, the templates have those little nicked off edges, but I cut squares. So, so you're gonna be lining up these two tips. And again, of course, quarter inch. <laughs> And I'll give you a tip. We're going to be trimming these down. This is the area that is important. So that's the one that you want to make sure has enough oomph. The top can be a little bit lower if you want. Okay. 
and do the next one and when you're sewing this point this is where you want a quarter inch up i hope you can see that this should come down you should start sewing right right there at a quarter inch so where this piece meets this piece and if these don't don't work out just rip it out and start over pull out your stitches take your time believe me you don't know how many times i did that already today just take your time don't don't panic that uh that did not work but i am going to let it ride i don't think anybody will will even notice it's a charity you know i'll make a charity quilt out of it yeah see that one worked that one's quarter inch but feel free to remove your stitches and start over all right so there are our subunits now those subunits have to be trimmed down to two and a half by four and a half four and a half so half of that is going to be two and a quarter so you want to come over to two and a quarter inches this line and you want that line to ride right against this point going down that way you know you're in the right spot this this ruler has way too many lines for me it gets me very confused okay so you can see that there is excess so we're going to trim that down and it's supposed to be two and a half by four and a half and there is a little bit of overage and i'm going to cut that off of this end i don't want to short change the point end okay so we're going to do that with all of them and you know i know that this is wonky i know it it's not lining up but after after the <laughs> i i can't i can't <laughs> No more. I need to bring a backhoe in here and clean up all this fabric off my floor. All right, so I know these pieces are cut crooked and I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to pretend like they are good. I closed it. I could have a through the magic of television moment and go hire somebody to make this for me and then come back and you'd never know. So there is our center square and now we're taking this piece and lining it up here. All right, there is the middle row of the block. You can put that aside. And now we're going to do the top and bottom rows. Okay, now we have the middle row, the top row, and the bottom row. And from a galloping horse in the fog at night, you won't know that my points don't match. There is the 8-inch block. Now I'm going to take this over to my ironing board. I am going to spray this down with lots of Mary Ellen's Best Press. I'm going to tug and I'm going to tug and tug and tug. Tug, tug, and tug. And I'm going to iron it until the cows come home. And then I'm going to trim it down to 8 and a half inches. All right, there it is. And I am very very delighted that it's the right size i actually had to trim some extra off so that's always good because you can't really if it's too small you know now that we have gotten through that panic attack the four inch block gets two rounds of potato chip pieces All right, there is our small block, our four inch block. And now we are going to do the same thing with the eight inch block. All right, we are back. And here is the four and a half inch block. And this piece is unfortunate. It landed on the roof, so on the roof of the house. So it's almost like that point is missing. But this here is the eight inch block block and i wanted to show you this layout if you remember these blocks here these were from my x marks the spot version of the potato chip block where i made colored x's on it someone had left a comment on one of these videos saying that they thought that it would look really cool to mix them into a sampler with other potato chip blocks and someone else also suggested that the bird patterns that i am doing over on coffee 
for my subscribers over there. They would look good in a sampler like this. So you have, you have the four black and white stuffed potato chips that we're doing, and then you have four regular or other potato chip blocks, and then you've got this cute little fella right here. That is an Ohio Star 4 inch and 8 inch stuffed potato chip block. So there is our, our 8 inch Ohio Star block, and I think it looks fabulous over here with the other with the other potato chip blocks and with the cute little owl. I'd like to invite you to join us over at Coffee. I have many membership tiers, and you can also just buy me a fat quarter if you're so inclined. And I have patterns, and I have quilts, and I have all sorts of things available for sale over in my shop. And you will also be going to the shop to pick up your pattern for this block and I'd also like to invite you to join me over at discord we're building a loving and sharing community over there and I'm having fun getting to know folks and I'd like to get to know my subscribers here on YouTube a little bit better and I'd love to see if you do one of my projects or if you are working on something and you want to share a photo I would love to see it if you have questions, if you're stuck, if you have an old sewing machine you need help with, just hit me up and the link will be, the, all the links that you need will be in the description below and I will also put, uh, I will also put iCards up here and the text across the screen and the links in the description and on the end screen. So I wanna thank you all so very much for watching please do hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out and it helps get my content out to other viewers. And I will see you right back here at 70 Acres Studio with our next little project. Not sure what it's gonna be, but it'll be coming out very, very soon. So thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you have a very blessed day, a very blessed week, and I hope that you go out and find a gift from the Lord and thank him. I will talk to you soon. God bless. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Campbell.